we should probably start. Um, hello, and welcome to this core conversation about media and Drupal. Uh, my name is Yanis. I'm slash RSM on IRC, Twitter, Drupal.org. Um, what I want to do with this session is <coughs> to initialize a discussion about where can we go from the point where we are now with media. Uh, I probably don't have much answers. Um, I just want to try to uh, push things forwards. So what I'm hoping to get here is a discussion about uh, where can we go, what, what should we fix, how we should do this, stuff like that. If you're looking for answers, that's probably not really a session for you. A um, few words about me. I am a developer from Slovenia. It's a small, tiny country on a border with Italy, Austria, uh, Croatia. Um, it's not Slovakia. It's, uh, we're usually switched. Um, I work for Examiner. Uh, which is a big media site in the US. And uh, I've been interested in media in Drupal for some time now. Uh, it basically started with my Summer of Code project a few years ago. And uh, even before Examiner, I worked for, for a media company in my country. So um, I saw a lot of issues that companies with huge amount of media and uh, when they rely on media heavily have with Drupal and that's why I'm interested in. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say that I don't want to make war. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to rage against anyone. I'm not trying to blame. I would just like to analyze where are we now and try to push things forward. Um, all my intentions are only positive, so I just want to say that. Um, so, first, some introduction. Uh, there is Drupal 8 on the way, and uh, we had a lot of plans uh, how to improve stuff related to media in, in, in this new shiny ver version of Drupal. Um, we didn't accomplish all of our goals, but there are some improvements that are worth mentioning. I chose three, but there are probably lots of more, and there are also some patches that are still in the issue queues that will probably be committed. So, yeah. First one is uh, file listing. In 8, we now finally have a file listing, um, which basically displays all the files that you have on your site. Uh, it wasn't there before. Uh, you can also see where are these files used in terms of entities. And it's built on views. So actually, views in core allowed us to build this. And uh, that also means that it's easy to modify and easy to extend. So I think it's, uh, it's very basic, but it's a good step in direction of real global library. Um, next improvement that we have is uh, WYSIWYG, which is by default in Drupal 8 now. And we also have out-of-the-box ability to include images in line in WYSIWYG, um, which is, uh, as you will see later, one of the most requested features by the users, developers. Um, and it's, it's done nice. It also records the usage of a file. So it's n you, you cannot um, just delete a file that you're using uh, on some node in, in WYSIWYG without knowing that you are breaking something. Um, I, I checked with, with WordPress and Joomla, and, and they basically don't do that. If you include something in, in, in a post in WordPress and you delete it from lib library, it will uh, just allow you to do that. Um, and we also now 
have multi-upload by default. Um, if you have a file field or, or an image field, or even if you're building your own form with uh, form API elements from core, you can set an attribute that will allow user to select more than one file in a single step and upload them uh, in, in a single process, which is also quite nice if you're building galleries with a lot of images, stuff like that. So um, we did improve some things. It's, it's, it's not much, but uh, especially the WYSIWYG is very important because a lot of people request it. We could argue if it's good to include stuff in text area and, or not, but yeah. Mm -hmm. People request it, and we probably have to, have to give them that. Um, if we want to fix stuff, because when it comes to media, people are always complaining with Drupal. Um, I heard this all the time, and I was complaining also. And, and my stakeholders were complaining, and first thing that we need to ask is, why are we doing this? Um, what's wrong? If we know what's wrong, then we can fix it, right? If we don't know what's wrong, then it's impossible to fix it. Um, to help to understand that, I, I in, in, in uh, during preparations for, for this conversation, I uh, published a survey uh, where I tried to collect some answers. It was a short one, intentionally, because I didn't want people to be scared when they see it. Um, and I got more than 200 answers, which was quite surprising for me, and I actually had to buy a premium membership for SurveyMonkey <laughs> because <laughs> they would not allow me to download more than 200 uh, answers with a free plan. Um, and it's cool. It's fine. I, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I wanted to, to get from, from this survey was uh, to understand how are people using media with their Drupal sites on day-to-day -day life, which solutions from Contrib are they using, um, and uh, which features they find most important. It's, it's not everything, but it's a start. Um, they were also allowed to, to leave uh, comments. And I later found out that uh, that was a very good decision because I got some really nice comments. And uh, uh, it, it gave me even better insight into, especially in, in, in their workflow and how are they using media. Um, I'm not. I will not present full results here, but uh, there's a blog post on my on my blog where I attached PDFs with all the results, so you can check it by yourself and analyze it. Um, I just decided to 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 present three most uh, requested features because I found something that seems interesting to me when related to features. The number one feature that people requested was inline media in WYSIWYG. Um, we kind of have this now in Drupal 8 for images. Uh, it's still just for images, not for videos, and maybe other type of files like documents. But it's a start, and it will probably make people happy. Um, solution that we have in Drupal 8 is probably based on what we have in Contrib for Drupal 7. At least I see it like that. Um, approach is similar to what we have in media. Um, and uh, that's good, because we have to build on, on top of stuff that we have. And interesting part is that this most requested feature is also provided in, uh, I think, most of the uh, general media solutions that we have in Drupal 7 Contrib. So uh, we kind of had that also in Drupal 7. The number two was reuse of media. 
which is also provided by uh, at least four different solutions in Drupal 7 contrib. So we also had that one. Yeah. And uh, the number three is site-wide media library, which is again provided by uh, at least four. It, 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 it depends on interpretation, but we have libraries in contrib solutions. And um, if you re read my post or uh, if you will do it afterwards, you will see that if we compare top 10 features that people need, they are uh, mostly provided in current solutions. So we basically have features that we need, right? So what's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we complaining about it? Uh, it's uh, definitely not just about features. So um, what is wrong? Is it documentation? Is it ease of use? Is it maybe pace of development? Are we too slow with, with the progress when it comes to, to, to media solutions? Um, and I think that it's probably a mixture of all of those and even, even some other reasons that you can help me to find. Um, I also um, invited people to, to give me answer to this question before, before the conversation. And I got some answers, but they were not very concrete. It was more in terms of like, yeah, I want to do that, and I cannot do it with this module. OK, this is not something that I'm looking for. I'm trying to find other reasons why are we complaining um, in general. Um, maybe we can see some of the comments that, that uh, I got from people. Um, most, if not all, of the comments were, were expressing the importance of media field in, in Drupal, and uh, <coughs> they were convinced that media is not getting enough attention. Um, they said, yeah, we have something, but um, it's, not, it's not the, the real initiative as others in Drupal 8 were, which got a lot of attention and, and a lot of developers joining to help make progress. Um, a lot of them were comparing different solutions in Contrib, and there, were not, that would, there was not a single comment that would rage or blame against one solution and say that another one is, is great or something like that. They were mostly comparing and uh, finding advantages and disadvantages in, in, in all of them. Uh, there were some complaints uh, that were related to user experience, especially the content creator experience. Um, and yeah, that's basically the wrap up of all the comments. Uh, of course, a lot of people told me that they are using some other solutions that I didn't ma mention in, in, in my survey, and uh, that's cool. Um, but what I was li really looking forward, to, uh, looking forward to, to get from this was this feedback. Um, so, where should we go from here? Uh, we obviously have good solutions, but we have also some problems that we need to fix. I think that uh, there is great time to start thinking about how to, how to proceed with, with media in Drupal 8. Because Drupal 8 is still in development, it will take some time since it's released, and um, we, can, we can use this time to work on it. Um, I, I believe that when people start to use Drupal 8, they will start to look for solutions. And uh, it's, it's probably impossible to have 
something really solid and stable when on the day when Drupal 8 is, is uh, released, but at least we can have a plan and we can have development going on and uh, maybe people that, that will realize that they need something to solve their own problems will join us um, when, when if, if they will know that we're thinking about it and there is something going on. Um, so we should start now. Um, uh, I also think that, that, that one of the problems with media which is a great solution, was uh, pace of development. When I built my first Drupal 7 site, immediately after, after Drupal 7 was released, <coughs> media was already there. It was very buggy, but we were trying to use it. And uh, it reached the, the pretty solid state just recently. Now, during the summer, there was alpha release, I think. So it took us two or three years. <coughs> I remember right now. It was a long time ago. So yeah, and uh, during this time, people were building sites, and uh, they, they needed solutions. And they often found media too, too buggy and too hacky, and they decided to either take something else either to hack something by their own or build another, yet another solution. Uh, and also, if we have something that is stable and relatively ready early enough, it's much higher probability that we will also get documentation and tutorials, which will also help adoption to happen. Um, I think that we need to talk. Um, my, my belief is that we have uh, smart people working on, on, on this field, and one of the problem which I see is that we are wasting energy with reinventing the wheel. So I, I believe that we should work um, on top of that that we have now. We have great solutions, and they're mostly not integrated between each other, which means that if that you have to build everything from scratch every time you do that. And if we would work together, maybe we can split our, our work into a few parts. If somebody is better with content uh, creator experience, let them do that. If somebody else is better with lower APIs, maybe we can allow these people to do that and not to to bother with front-end experience. Um, so, yeah, I think it would be much easier to work like this. Oops. Um, and what I realized in this year's working for, for me bigger media companies is that these are very complex problems. Almost every website is a bit different, so it's hard to find something that that fits everyone. Um, it needs a lot of work, but work needs to be done, and we have to find a way uh, to make this sustainable. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that somebody should come and fund this, but uh, there are a lot of companies that need this, and they are there are also a lot of companies that are already investing uh, in this field. And uh, if we can make these people to work together, it, it will just follow. Because if they're investing their developers in, in different solutions right now, if they would be investing their developers in the same or different solutions that can work together, uh, we will save a lot of time. Um, so yeah, this was my introduction, kind of. Uh, and now I was, I was ha hoping to, 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 to get some discussion going on. So uh, if you want to say something, just please. Uh, there's a microphone, which is wireless. So you can stand there, uh, or you can just pass the microphone around.
so hi everyone um, the problem we had uh, with media in the past was that it needed like file entity media probably media handler uh, media browser plus and some other modules and there was all always one of those that was failing for some reason what was buggy or or there was an update from one module and then the other was broken again and so on and so on and so on so we always had to patch it and I hope with the file entity stuff that goes into Drupal 8 and with some basic media features in Drupal 8 I think hope we can just make one module that does all of that so that we don't have to uh, be scared of, uh, with upgrading our media module uh, every time Um, well, yeah, f file entity is, is not going into Drupal 8, as far as I know. Um, it just didn't work out. So, uh, you will not get fillable files in Drupal 8. Well, but it's, an it's a normal entity, so it's easier to make. Yeah, it, it also was entity in Drupal 7, but just a really basic one. Um, yeah, I mean, that's probably related to that problem that, that I expressed before uh, about really long development cycle of, of media. Um, whether we need just only one module or more of them, it's it's very, very much up to debate. I'm more in favor of uh, having separate stuff which can work together. And the reason for that is that uh, there are so many use cases outside, and if you build just one solution that that assumes stuff, then you're probably not uh, very good at covering those use cases. I'm going to second that. I actually uh, agree that you, know, you don't want big monolithic media handling modules. You want a, a tool chain that's you know, can s divide and conquer the problem space because, as you said, it is a very complex problem space. Um, the trick is getting that balance right, and it sounds like you know, I, I'm not a heavy media person myself, but it, it sounds like the that balance for where the dividing lines were and, and so forth didn't really work in Drupal 7. So I think a lot of the question is, all right, you know, where do we draw those lines and where do we break up the problem space so that we can have, you know, these three relatively stable modules and then do the crazy stuff on top of that in various uh, experimental ways. And are there pieces of those you know, baseline modules that we can push into core within Drupal 8's development cycle to make that easier? If we can, we should. You know, exactly where that line is, I don't know. But that's, I think, the question we should be asking is where can we divide this up to minimize the amount of duplicate work that has to happen? Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, how would you do that assessment? Microphone. How can we make that assessment? Yeah. How can we make that assessment? Where to draw the line? So someone else is here is asking how do we make that assessment? Um, I don't know. I'm not a media guy, but you know my kind of my knee jerk thought there would be each module should do something atomic on its own, something useful. So like you know file entity. I think is a good example of a place to draw a line because that's take f you know file entities and put fields on them. That's one problem space. Just deal with that and be done with it. Um, and then that module should not do anything beyond that. File browsing and selection might be another one. I, again, I'm not I'm not the right person to decide where those lines are. But I think the guideline is you know atomic chunks. Uh, but percent. but it needs mapping. That, that we need. Yeah. Do we still need to map that problem space then? Yes. And see the moving parts in that ecosystem? Yeah, I, I think that, that we should make these parts work together. Um, and, and definitely it, those parts need to be stable enough for people to use, like, like you mentioned. And that's why I think that we should start to think about it early enough to reach the stable state uh, in a decent amount of time. Um, so based on the research that you did, do you think that you would be able to identify maybe three or five kind of core standard sets of features that you could then kind of reverse engineer to do those things that you were just talking about and say, 
you know, these are the three kinds of implementations that are most common, uh, and, and, and then work backwards from that, or do you think you'd need to, uh, I mean, it's, you know, it sounded like you did a lot of homework. Um, it's, it's, I, I believe that it's possible, but um, here's also diplomatic <laughs> problems, you know. <laughs> um, <coughs> Yeah, political stuff, because people are working on their solutions, and they love them. Uh, it's it's totally human thing. And if if somebody will come and say, we should do this like that, then those people will not come together, and they will con just continue work on their own solutions and uh, write write code that does the same thing four times or five times or whatever. But you brought research. Sorry? But you brought research. It's not like you are saying we should be doing this. No, no, you I'm researched. not saying. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would never do that because I don't believe it's a solution. Um, I think it's, it's, it's possible to do it, but it, it's need, it needs a lot of uh, conversation. It needs uh, some serious approach, maybe uh, a dedicated sprint where where people that are most active in this field would come together and spend a week together and try to to find similarities or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's that's a that's a possibility or a solution for that. Yeah, one thing I would like to see right in the beginning that we separate file handling from media handling, right? Because there are different things. And, and a file might not be, uh, might not need to be fieldable, right? If we say file is the thing on the file system, it's something completely different that could be handled by Drupal Core, like the way it does it right now. And we add media handling by having a media entity, which may use files or may not, or may use several files on one media. Yeah, so if we could just I agree. I, I, I had a use case where I would definitely need file entity and um, something that would represent media that would attach files and also other stuff to itself um, because it was some metadata overriding stuff going on and yeah th that's why I said that uh, there are very different use cases out there and it's not good to assume that if I need fields and files, then somebody else will need it. So, yeah. I think currently yeah. with the media module, they're uh, like mixed together, which a lot of people probably have, um, have problems with. So, because media uses a file entity, and that's may maybe not what we want. Maybe it can use file entity, but it can also allow people to use something else. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it can yeah. Uh, just have an, an, a file field, or if it needs file entity, it can use entity references. Yeah, uh, probably one thing that could help us with this a lot is entity referencing core, because now everything is much more flexible. Uh, but we shouldn't overcomplicate it, <laughs> because then we just complicate and never come out with with a good solution. But yeah, I've been also thinking a lot about these questions that you brought out and. I don't have definite solutions. I, I know what kind of solution would work for, for projects where I was part of, uh, but that's definitely not the only case that can appear. Yeah, I basically can just agree that um, file entity is something awesome and necessary as an API. But as one of the poor guys that had to maintain Media Browser Plus with the earlier really bad um, code base in version 2, uh, it, it was also a pain. Like, we had this API file entity. And it was a moving target. And even now, we have code that checks, OK, is this method part of media? Or is it already a next version? And is it? in file entity, and then you have these crazy ifs, and, and that's just unmaintainable. I, I was close to creating stuff like Drush does for deciding on which environment it acts, <laughs> but that that's just not the thing that a media browser should do. So it's definitely about uh, 
yeah, creating a, an architecture where we define domains, problem domains, and who is responsible for that. Like having an API freeze, actually, that would help very much. At least yeah. that's what yeah, I think. I agree. I, I remember when, um, on my Summer of Code project, which is uh, working with derivatives of files and stuff, there, there, there was uh, every few months that an issue appears that uh, method that returns all the file types is not there anymore. So I ha now I have like four, four if statements there to, 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 to decide which one to call. Um, yeah, so I have a couple things. Um, so uh, in terms of like um, organization, what you're, I think what you're basically saying then, or, or at least the conclusion that I have from what you said, is that media really needs to be an initiative, like a top-level initiative for Drupal 9, which, is, uh, which would be awesome, of course, but I think which is something, um, although obviously the, it's not community decided in, in a practical sense, I think that's something <coughs> that we could actually... Um, at least make more probable if like people start blogging about it or you know if there's like a real consensus or, or a community movement that media handling is the next the next thing we need that Drupal 8 just doesn't cut it in in terms of media handling um, yeah so that's basically just a comment um, yeah I mean media initiative was unofficial media initiative was there for Drupal 8 right but it, it didn't really succeed um, because it probably didn't get m enough attention and uh, the main developer was busy and didn't have enough time to, to, to push it forward, I guess. But it, it shouldn't rely only on one person because then this stuff happened. And uh, yeah, it, I, I believe it should be a, an initiative or however we will call it for Drupal 9. But I also think that it's uh, more important to to have it fixed in, in Drupal 8, maybe to add some stuff into core if we still have time. We don't have much time left, I guess, to, to make big changes. Um, but uh, we, can, we can do it early enough in Contrib and, and then will be much easier to, to work on this for Drupal 9. So yeah, it's kind of what I tried to say, but um, yeah. we probably have to focus on Drupal 8 right now. <coughs> right, so, and the next thing I wanted to say is that what was talked about, um, like cutting or, or making the cut, um, or drawing the line between different modules or when to, when to start a new module, or I think that's ma maybe the crucial, or at the very least, a very crucial part of the problem. Because I think, especially with uh, media handling, and especially because there are so many use cases, um, there are like two uh, two fronts crashing with media handling. Because, for instance, I'm a developer, so if I were to tackle that problem, I would create file entity API or a file entity in core, and then I would create a pr maybe a media browser module, and then I would create this module and that module, and then we'd have 20 modules, and then they all, all have their own admin interface, and then the UX team, after I, we'd have 25 modules, they'd say like, you know, that's completely bizarre, and we should start the other way around. So, but you have to kind <coughs> of do it in between, so you can't like, so it's also hard to, to start with mockups completely without any code behind them, and then find your way down. So I think that's like, especially with media <coughs> handling, because there's so many different use cases, media browsing of local files, remote files, embedding, and you know, it's like a very, so it's, that's, I'm not like providing a solution, but I think that's like the very crucial thing that we have to somehow figure out how to get both people in the same room or, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm, I'm very much uh, um, on the side, as I already told you, that, that these parts needs to be cut, but I really believe that planning of this has to be has to be general. So we shouldn't plan each separate part separately, but we should plan it together and also plan the the 
low-end architecture of this and the user experience and UI and then get it done in smaller pieces. Because if, if we plan just piece by piece, then you end up with something that it's not very... Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, inconsistent UIs and all the problems. So yeah, that's what I think that we have to talk. I, I don't think that we have to start code right now. I would love to say that we should go on Sprint on Friday and start doing stuff, but that's, that's probably not the solution. Uh, it's a lot of discussing and planning that has to be done before that. Um, how do we do it? I don't know. Uh, as I said, my, my idea was to organize something where where people can come, maybe as a part of, of, of some events that are coming, like, I don't know, <coughs> Bad Camp or there's in Europe is Trouble Camp in Vienna that has sprints. Um, I don't know. Those are my ideas how to approach it. And But it probably needs to be really focused. If you want to come with good conclusions, with good plans, you have to get those people there and allow them to be focused only on this problem for probably a few days at least. Um, yeah, so uh, I've been telling my customers for the last uh, sort of year and a half that uh, based on rumor and blog posts here and there that media was going to be part of Drupal 8 and therefore it was the way to go. <coughs> so to hear that not even File Entity has made it into Drupal 8 core is quite frankly incredibly disappointing. Um, to say the least. Now, I hold my hands up. I haven't directly contributed to any of this, so, you know. Um, but uh, um, surely that is the place to start. Like, I'm actually going to disagree with one of the, the, the guys who spoke a bit earlier because I think if you get file entity in there and you make sure that Drupal Core, all it does is treats files as entities. So if you upload a file, you get an entity. Well, that instantly means you've got bucket loads of functionality. You know, you, you can apply permissions, you can, you can Field it. You can customize it. You can you can choose how you want to display it, and you would have all of that stuff out the box. Drupal Core shouldn't be thinking about anything else, and then you can let the likes of Media Module, Scold, whoever else, battle it out over the user interface, uh, because they are very different. Um, and you know, it just seems to me that it's fairly obvious that that really is the way you ought to go. Because even in the case where you've got files where you're not interested in, in having fields and permissions, just don't use them. You know, if, you, if, you, if Drupal behind the scenes is just taking care of creating an entity and you don't want to add extra fields to it, don't, you know? Yeah. Um, that's definitely a way to approach it. Uh, not a media guy either. I've done a little bit of work with media module and usually I choose to work on something else. Uh, I had a few questions around this, and uh, I guess I don't really know any answers, but I'd be willing to kick in a little bit of research if that's going to help. Uh, it looks like there's a whole range of possible solutions from I just want to get a picture into my blog post to sort of the, the high end being digital asset management type of solutions. Uh, probably we need to address the high end as well as making sure that it's usable for the low end. For the high end, what, uh, what is out there? What, what are other open source projects doing? Is there anything that we can leverage? And with the commercial digital asset management products, are there APIs that we should be looking at? Or are there any standards around this? Uh, it, I don't know. Has anything been done in this, in, in terms of this part of the research? or? I, I checked the most obvious open source CMSs and what what I saw, but I'm not expert for any of them, is that they basically tackle this basic part of the market with maybe there are some plugins or anything. I, I didn't go so deep. But uh, I would expect <laughs> that there is something that also solves problems for, for for higher end of the market. And but I'm I'm not aware of the solutions and maybe what I should have done, but I didn't. So this would probably be a really nice thing to 
to research. Yeah. I ideal yeah. solution would be that we can plug something in and it works great and it's, it's something that's emerging as a standard. And, and, and I've been also thinking a lot about this problem. There is <laughs> definitely a part of, of our users that, that have very complex requirements. And there is also a lot of very small sites that have just basic stuff to do. And I'm still not sure if, if we can tackle this together. I hope that we can, but uh, I'm not really sure how. Uh, because for, for someone who is having a blog, uh, if we speak about site-wide media library, and uh, if we have categorization of, of this media, they probably just need something that is similar to IMCE, which displays folder structure. And it doesn't use taxon taxonomy or any other mechanism to, to, to do categorization. While for someone who is, uh, who have very complex system, it's definitely a must to have more powerful uh, uh, system for, for categorization than just file system folders. Uh, so, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about that, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not sure yet, but... <laughs> yeah, I yeah, is there a, a, a place where there's ongoing discussion on this? A, I just know it's a pain point for me and a lot of people, but... Uh, there's there's a, a, a groups.drupal.org group called Media, um, where discussion should probably uh, be taken. Um, it's not much of traffic there right now. It just just uh, a hate post comes from time to time, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's uh, definitely not the way to solve problems. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll check it out. I'd certainly uh, be willing to kick in some research. Uh, it was a discussion. Yes, microphone, please. It was a discussion about integrating Drupal uh, some way with uh, Alfresco, mm. but uh, yeah, it died. <laughs> 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 and then the way they were trying to do it, like uh, uh, mapping Drupal nodes to Alfresco directories or something. So it was very, um, for me, it was. Um, and uh, I guess for my customers as well, it was kind of um, not exactly comprehensive solution. So, but if you want to reach uh, the enterprise and corporate markets, we, we absolutely need something like that. So m probably not that complicated because we, we made it with uh, Alfresco and then it showed uh, that it was too much functionality or uh, it was uh, very difficult to get uh, uh, Microsoft Office metadata from documents <coughs> and stuff like that. So uh, we couldn't even use it. So if we want to, to get into, as I said, corporate markets, then they, have, they used to have intranets and the file document management in any form comprehensive is a must. So it's more of a side note. Um, it definitely sounds like we all agree that the meet the status of media to handling in D7 is inadequate. Just a reminder, the tool chain in Drupal 8 is vastly different, and I think vastly improved between you know, plugins in core, views in core, um, some of the file handling that PHP 5.3 enables, ability to stream files much more easily. I think this is a good time to not start from the base of media or Scald or any of the other major D7s, but actually blue sky it because it's not going to be any more work than trying to straight port one of those existing solutions. So this is a good opportunity to just reevaluate the tool chains that's that are available, identify those gaps, and build on that new model. Just like media um, or 
you know, Commerce One were built straight for D7 and just left off what came before them. I think that the changes for D8 are large enough that that's the right way to do it, and that's also going to be an easier way to do it for figuring out what exactly how this should look in D8. Um, just the, the tool chain is different enough that it's better to start with a fresh look at what those tools offer. Thanks. Uh, I have two things. Uh, first, more concern. We talked already, discussed about the best way would be that we decoupled everything, like yeah. not to have a You're a tall guy. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like not to have um, one solution that tackles most of the problem, but like we have file entities, we have uh, uh, media browser plus, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the problem I see that is that like current media solution has too many different stuff trying to work and don't work. Uh, the only good example, the really complex one that works is, I guess, C tools, views, panels, combination, but it was managed only by one guy for the most of the time, Miles, that write the most of the code. That's the one thing. So if we want to do it, I agree that that would be the best <coughs> best thing to do, to decouple everything and that everything works nicely and can be reused in other places. But uh, it would be very difficult, I, I think, because um, uh, like for a file entity, we have a bad solution that is not maintained anymore and if all other, let's say, new media uh, thing for Drupal 8 will uh, depend on file entity and that maintenance step off, we're in a big, big problem. I would more, and also uh, we shouldn't expect from end user that they should install five or 10 models or whatever to, for some media handling, which is very complex to configure or whatever. I would more prefer that we have a solid base that is, let's say, tackle 80% of the end user problems. But we do it like uh, very extensible so others can plug in like however they want. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the second thing I would like to, to see how we can proceed with this because most of us agree that uh, for Drupal 8 we should maybe start from the scratch because it's a completely new system. And we all uh, are here, gather it, so how, how to proceed with it? Now, should we, like, I don't know, on Friday, get somewhere and talk? Because probably we, sh we cannot call now, that would be silly, but I guess we should identify people that want to contribute and or start to organize them and yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. We can definitely do that, and uh, I'm 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 prepared to attend this kind of sprint or meeting if we decide to to have it. What I can also do is I can I can try to write a wrap up of this discussion on on, on groups, uh, so we can we can maybe also use that, yeah. Um, Okay, then we can we can try to we can we can say that we will have a a sprint or or a meeting on Friday uh, where we can talk how to tackle these problems for Drupal 8. That's great. Good point. Uh, this is something that I wanted to talk about. Uh, I do not understand very well spoken English, so excuse me if I repeating something about which was speaking spoken. Uh, I, I feel that you talked about the big picture, and we here uh, started to talk about part of it. It's not a good thing. Uh, you said uh, uh, <coughs> this uh, this can't rely on one man uh, to solve this problem. But I think it's a very big and very complex problem, and we can't uh, can't uh, solve it if we we did, didn't have a leader. We we in, we need all, at least one leader, just like the initiatives of Drupal 8, and we we have to work a lot of uh, on to have uh, enough people to work on it. So I think we need a leader. We need a plan. Which, which can be based on what you have researched. Maybe, I, I don't know, I don't know what did you find. Maybe we have to make much more research. 
uh, I came here. Uh, I hope that we, the, your research will give some answers. But it seems we just have more more questions. So it's definitely what we do uh, is uh, write these questions, find the people who are interested in, and and make a program, make a progress. Maybe we should. Uh, create uh, a distribution program like the Spark uh, was for Drupal, but uh, not uh, user and editor experience, but about the media handling. So uh, I think the first thing which we have to do is the uh, gathering on Friday. And uh, on, on this gathering, we should uh, to start to write code, but should find people uh, and and the program of what what we have to do, we have to create the first plan, and after that we have to do a lot of other plans, and we have to communicate it very, very much, very everywhere we we can. The video isn't enough. Uh, we have to tweet it. We have to find the people who can uh, a big voice it, because without we won't be able to do it. Uh, that's my two cents. <laughs> that's all. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't say that we don't need a leader. I just said it. If one man band is doing it, it's not okay. Um, it's a so complex problem space that it pr definitely needs a leader. And I agree that it probably needs to be someone that is respected person that others will follow. Um, so, yeah. And there are a lot of a lot of questions. Okay. And, uh, so once uh, I I like to go uh, out from here that. We we decided on at least one thing. So it is that thing that we, this discussion will be uh, continued on Friday. That's a good thing, I think so. Just, uh, just I don't want to leave that way. That we have a lot of questions, we have opinions, and uh, and we didn't go forward. Yeah, that's. Okay. that's I think that's that's a very good conclusion for the first step. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm the author of uh, PDF, EPUB, and Apache Solar File modules. And all of them are based on file entity, so I think I have some experience to share. <laughs> At the beginning, I released these modules ba uh, depending on the file entity, the recommended release. But soon I found uh, most issues are fixed on the dev version, but uh, it's not so frequently to release the recommended release. So I end up just asking users to use the uh, Git to check out the latest file entity too, and use with my own modules. Yeah, I think it's uh, difficult for users to maintain their. <coughs> that, that was definitely a problem. I I, I had same problems. And even today, we are talking about Drupal eight, but for seven, the file entity two is still on alpha two. <laughs> yeah. I mean that I I mentioned this problem. The, the 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 development cycle of media was very very long, and uh, it it the development version was basically the only one that was suitable to be used, but it was a moving target. So yeah, those are problems that that are right now, and I think the the only and the best thing we can do is learn from this and try to avoid this kind of things in the future. So uh, I, I, if I don't have a solution for you how to well, fix media uh, for Drupal 7 right now. But Maybe we can change yeah. the strategy to release. Like Firefox or Chrome, <coughs> it's not perfect, but you can make a recommended release. And yeah. like a profile uh, panoply is also depending on file entity. And is quite a popular distribution. So the developer, I think they also use Git to check out a certain release from the dev of a uh, file entity. It's quite tricky for users to track that. Yeah. And um. I can't um, uh, know, should I update the file entity module to the latest dev version or not? Yeah, that is a problem. And I think that one of the reasons for that problem was that uh, <coughs> as this system was being developed, um, people realized that something is not working and uh, took a different approach at some point of time. 
So between media 1.x and file entity, which is included in NetMedia, and 2.x, it's a huge difference. Um, and I'm not sure if, if a different release cycle would, would fix that, because that would happen anyway, I think. Um, uh, I think that the way to approach these problems is to start working on it early enough uh, to have it in something that we will hopefully have in next version, uh, being stable early enough. Um, I think that's the way to approach that problem. But I agree with you. That was a huge problem, and I had the same problems with my projects and, and modules and so on. Uh, hi, Genez. Um, hi. I, um, I made a session about Scald yesterday, so I'm really interested in, into your conversation. Um, I just wanted to say that we truly agree with your constru constructive approach, uh, because I think now is the time to talk and to share and uh, to see where we can go. Uh, based on your experience from big media sites and based on our experience. And uh, I just wanted to point it out that there's an issue open in the issue queue, uh, media, about merging these two solutions for Drupal 8. Uh, so maybe we should continue this into this talk and this issue queue uh, because we, didn't want we do not want to make uh, two solutions again or three solutions again. So I just wanted to say that people at Scalde are very uh, constructive and share your approach and that we should design first, like design the UX and design the technical architecture, whether it's uh, entities, how should we use these entities, and what are the use cases. So um, let's talk on Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do. And um, maybe um, if, you, if you agree, people that are working on these solutions, maybe you can prepare uh, a presentation, how you architected stuff, and why did you make decisions like you did? What are the arguments that you have? So we we have maybe we have few presentations, and then then we have something to work on. Because if we will just show up there, uh, it will be much harder to 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 talk. Uh, maybe just one comment more because it's coffee time, I guess. <laughs> Um, well, well, firstly, uh, thank you very much, and thank you to everyone that's made contributions. Um, this is my first Drupal conference, and I've been going to all the business and strategy streams and learning nothing. So <laughs> <laughs> this has been really terrific. Um, I'm one of those enterprise corporates that's looking for a digital asset solution, um, and uh, we all have very similar challenges. We have many different um, business models, different channels to market, which means lots of different brands, and we want to reuse digital assets across all those different brands, know where they are, um, and not waste a lot of money on people and development. Um, but I just wanted to just throw in one other thing to think about. Um, a few years ago, we were looking to replace an intranet at a corporation I was working at. So we did a survey, similar to your survey monkey, and we asked everyone um, what they use the current intranet for. And we got some incredible responses. People were using it in all sorts of ingenious ways that we hadn't realized. Um, they were searching for policy documents that were buried in, within the intranet. They were using it to seek out um, people that they could collaborate with and work with, and um, or just all sorts of imaginative responses. Um, and then we looked at the logs, and we used some software to, re to interpret the logs and tell us the traffic and tell, people, tell us what people were actually doing. Um, and 99% of them were looking at the cafe menu, the internal job vacancies, and the org structure. So, so what's for lunch, what jobs are out there, and who do I need to smooze to go and get one of those jobs? <laughs> so, so I think surveys are great. I think they give you some sentiment data. But if you can get hard evidence of the problems that you're all having, um, and how you're all having to come up with different solutions to similar problems, then I think you've got real momentum. Mm. Because th this, is, this is a big topic. Lot, lots of companies in the world are interested in it. Okay. Thank nice you. comment. Thanks. Um, okay. Um, they asked me to advertise Sprint, which we're 
obviously attending now. <laughs> um, I can I can try to contact sprint organizers and uh, make this thing kind of official. So even people that are not in this room can can hear about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I will try to push information about the location and and uh, you know room information stuff like that to Twitter or maybe on on a session page in comments so you can find it. Um, that's my Twitter handle. Um, and yes, please please evaluate uh, the session. Uh, I will also publish the slides on 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 the session page, so you don't need to write down URL or my Twitter account or something. Just go there, and you will see it there. And uh, thank you all for attending, and uh, hope to see you on Friday.